Hello guys, Omni here. I wanted to talk about the announcements made today at the Marvel panel at D23. Now, honestly, there's not a whole lot to touch upon. There's uh, only really three big things that I think we were going to talk about. And then one huge thing that kind of came out around the same time or not that long after. And I'm going to go ahead and start with that because it is kind of the elephant in the room when it comes to the, talking about this panel or what was going to be coming out of D23, especially with the news that has been going on this week with Sony and Disney. And they, this is the first time we've had Kevin Feige and Tom Holland really speak out about it. This wasn't at the panel. This was at an interview with the two for Entertainment Weekly. And I'm going to read you what the two of them said in this. It pretty much puts a nail in the coffin on the whole debacle between Disney and Sony. Pretty much confirming outright that for now, for the foreseeable future, Spider-Man will not be produced by Marvel, will not be involved in the MCU going forward. And they kind of talk about, you know, in a very sentimental kind of way, what this means and what it has meant to them working on this up until this point. Now, they do kind of touch upon that, just like what Sony did in their sta official statement a couple of days ago, that they hope this may change in the future. So for now, Spider-Man is not part of the MCU. That still may be subject to change down the road. We just have to wait and see. Right now, though, the, I would just pretty much consider it done at this point. So who knows? Right now, let's just kind of dive into what the two said. We start off with Tom Holland talking to EW. Now, basically, we made five great movies. It's been five amazing years. I've had the time of my life, and who knows what the future holds, but all I know is that I'm going to continue playing Spider-Man and having the time of my life. It's going to be so fun however we choose to do it. The future of Spider-Man will be different, but it will be equally as awesome and amazing, and we'll find new ways we can make it even cooler. Feige goes on to kind of echo that sentiment in a way, saying that I'm feeling about Spider-Man gratitude and joy. We got to make five films within the MCU with Spider-Man, two standalone films, and three with the Avengers. It was a dream that I never thought would happen. It was never meant to last forever. We knew there was always a finite amount of time that we had to be able to do this, and we told the story we wanted to tell, and I'll always be thankful for that. You know, great, charismatic, peaceful kind of ways to kind of touch on a subject that a lot of people have been very heated about. Um, I've talked about this a couple of times. I've got two videos up on about it now. Two, three. I've got a couple of videos talking about it myself. You know, it's it's been a huge thing in the media world. There's this thing that really kind of sprung Spider-Man back into life for Sony. Um, you know, it's a huge deal, at least for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and comic book fans and fans of this genre in general. It's a, it's a huge hit. Now, I do think that there is the chance, you know, that Sony can make some great films with Tom Holland because they're keeping Tom Holland. Uh, right now, the tug of war between Disney and Sony is now over who's going to sign John Watts to continue, who's been the director for both Homecoming and uh, Far From Home so far. So that's going to be something interesting to see how that goes, because I really I really want him to stick with Tom Holland, so I really hope that he can stick around, because uh, there would be a noticeable tone change if they did a kind of break up the creative team and just keep Tom Holland. I would like I think Sony's strongest bet is to keep the create as many of the creative forces in line once they take Spider-Man onto their back into their home turf. Anyway, that is I want to go ahead and get that elephant just out of the room so we can talk about what was discussed today regarding Marvel's upcoming films. And we you know we didn't really get a whole lot today to talk about as far as what they uh you know, we got we got the bulk of the information at uh, Comic-Con. So today, we just get a little bit more supplementary information. We already knew that Black Panther 2 was coming out, but we got the title treatment for it, as well as confirmation that Ryan Coogler is returning to direct, and that it will uh, air in theaters May 6th, 2022. Following that, we have the cast of the Eternals taking the stage, and we get to see a nice spread of everybody in their movie outfits as well as some confirmations for some rumored castings that have been uh, unconfirmed up until this point. We do have confirmation that Angelina Jolie is playing Thena. Salma Hayek will be Ajax. Gemma Chan is confirmed to be Cersei, not Angelina Jolie. And Barry Kagan is playing Druid, as well as the rumors of 
Kit Harrington being confirmed of joining the MCU because he is joining the cast of the Eternals as Dane Whitman's Black Knight. So that'll be interesting to see. I don't know if he's just being typecast because he's playing another sword-wielding, medieval-flavored, kind of brooding character. So I'll take it. Now, again, I don't really know any of these characters i i am not familiar with the eternals by any stretch of the imagination much like guardians of the galaxy was that movie will be my introduction to that entire team that world um, i know vaguely what the eternals are what they mean to the greater whole of the marvel universe and their ties to thanos uh that race everything like that and how the kind of the role they play in the greater scheme of things, but I don't know the individuals. I don't really know the characters. I don't know their personalities, powers, any of that. And I don't really know a whole lot about the black Knight character. I, I, I read a little bit about him today and it sounds pretty interesting, but I'm really curious to see how this kind of all comes together and what it's going to play into for the greater MCU. So I'm really curious to see that. I'm really curious to see just these new aspects and things be explored, you know, you know, take some risks. They 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 made a talking raccoon and a tree, freaking make me tear up on many an occasion. So I'm willing to let the MCU do whatever they do, and I'll just roll with the punches and see how it all goes. Now that's that's really it. That's all we got for Marvel today. That's all we got uh, from D23 regarding upcoming Marvel films. Um, there was some footage that was shown exclusively that I have not been able to find online, at least legitimately, because I'm not going to review or react to footage that isn't publicly available. Uh, there was footage shown for Black Widow, and uh, it people have described it as being very much more of, of like, a, it definitely had more of a spy kind of feel than it did for being a Marvel movie. Was the kind of the consensus that I've heard about from people who have seen it. So I don't really know how I can't really comment it on it, but it's some footage was shown off for that film there. Uh, so that's really it on the Marvel end of things. And uh, I'm not too sure if we're going to learn anything new tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what all is in store for D23 tomorrow. So who knows? We'll be keeping our eyes open, but that is it for now. So let me know in the comments. What you think about any of this news? Uh, sound off, give your opinions on all of it, all the drama, all the castings, all of the upcoming announcements as far as this goes. Do you know anything about the Eternals? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video and you want to support the channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with my content, make sure to ring the bell. If you didn't like anything I did this video or anything, let me know why in the comments so I can grow and do better next time. Anyway, that is it for tonight. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.